Hey everyone, Kyle once again, and welcome back to another trailer reaction, and just really quick, um, getting to the holiday spirit, getting some uh, Christmas lights on, just, you know, if you want to do something, there's a show while I'm getting into the holiday spirit, and also now, <laughs> just showing that um, I'm getting back in the holiday spirit, where I usually wear this during the Christmas time, I have been for the past couple of years, so. Now we're now we're uh, getting into the time of Christmas now. But first, um, which I will review a couple of Christmas things. But um, as of right now, after reviewing that, uh, which I need to get in the Christmas spirit because after I needed to um, previously, I had to regain my strength back because of reviewing that abomination, embarrassing of a sequel called Independence Day Resurgence. So I just need my spirits lifted to get into the holiday spirit again. Because that long that long rant just took a whole lot of out of me. So now what I do, after reviewing such, reviewing such a horrible movie, I wanted to uh, get my thoughts on a really on a trailer that I thought w I really did enjoy. So Spider-Man: Homecoming. I enjoyed the trailer, as I did for Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two. Because Guardians, because Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two, I, I thought it was it was it looks like it's gonna be another fun Marvel movie, just as fun as the first movie. Um, all the cast are gonna are gonna looking are looking so much fun again. Chris Pratt, Zoe Saldana, Dave Bautista, Bradley Cooper, Vin Diesel, the song Fox on the Run. Just that the trailer look, looked uh, really uh, fun, and I'm looking forward to seeing the sequel. Now with Spider-Man: Homecoming, um, Tom Holland, who plays Peter Parker, Spider-Man, I enjoyed him in Captain America: Civil War. I did. To me, I think he's the he's as of now he played the, he's playing the best Spider-Man I've seen. Better than Tobey Maguire, better than Andrew Garfield, to me. I think he what his portrayal of Peter Park, both Peter Parker and Spider Man fits well. Because <clears throat> he's because how he was is he's a, he's a normal kid and we're going through doing high school and same time he's out save help saving the city whatever. So and you, and in this in this trailer, how the trailer opens up, I thought it was pretty funny. Where you get these bank robbers and they're wearing like Avengers masks, like Iron Man, Hulk, Captain America, and Thor, and uh, and uh, Spider Man just standing in the back, you know, like this, just waiting and look, staring at them. He's like, "Hey, you guys aren't the real Avengers." Oh, that's because because Hulk, the Hulk, gave it away, and he just he doesn't beat them up though. He doesn't like punch or anything. He's just like makes like the bad guys like hurt themselves. Like he throws one and makes them one. That guy punched the other guy. Say that's awesome. So, and you just see him just going through his, his day to day in high school, talking with his friend. And you see him uh, him talking with Tony Stark once again, played by, played by Robert Downey Jr. Him talking about how he wants to join the Avengers, and and uh, Tony Stark you know says uh, uh, do same do, do things I do I do want to. Try not to do things I do want to do, or try to do things I don't want to do. And the, you're in the little gray in the middle. That's you right there. And then another uh, funny thing where uh, Peter thinks he's, uh, Tony's hugging him, but he's like, "No, this is not a hug. I'm just opening the door for you." So, and then you see him in the spider suit. Like um, he's like on the Washington Memorial, and and then probably his his friend sees him in the in the sees him crawling to the ceiling in the in the Spider-Man suit. And of course, you, you see him drop uh, this Lego uh, of the Star... of uh, looks like the Lego version of the Death Star for Star Wars because, you know, Star Wars is now Disney, so you have to throw that in there. But, um, he sees him like, you're the Spider-Man. No, I'm not. This is just a, this is just a costume. It's like, you were on the ceiling. And, and, uh, Robert Downey Jr. is telling him, you know, just don't get into trouble. And then you get the, and you get the appearance of the Vulture, played by Michael Keaton, and 
the and Michael Keaton, I literally think he's gonna do a really good job as a vulture because I enjoyed Michael Keaton. I always enjoyed him as an actor. My still my still my favorite performances of him when he played Batman from Tim Burton's Batman and Batman Returns. So it's so it's always been my favorite performances from Michael Keaton because he's still the best Batman. And seeing him from playing uh, from a DC hero and now he's gonna play a Marvel villain. And of course, my, and Michael Keaton always always great doing comedies. You know, like Johnny Dangerously and uh, Beetlejuice, but um, he can play he can play a bad he can play a good bad guy. I like I enjoyed his, his, his playing his of his villainous role in Pacific Heights. Even um, there was also he was in the he also played a bad guy in, the, in a film called Desperate Measures, also starring Andy Garcia. Which I haven't seen that film quite some time though, but I remember I remember Michael Keaton giving a good performance as the bad guy. So Michael Keaton, he can he can he can play a good bad guy, and I'm looking forward to seeing him as a vulture, him in this vulture suit, which, of course, it's not like of course not of course it's not gonna be like in the comic books because they can't make Paul. Of course, they'll have to make a type of like a mechanical type of suit. So, but the look, but the look of the vulture costume, I think it looks pretty good. The mask, I don't the the the, the eye glowing mask, I don't mind it. It still has like that, that white thing, like how vultures have, you know, this white thing around their neck, on their necks, the wings and the the the, the feet, the talons, whatever. I think I think I don't think I don't think the this the suit doesn't look quite as silly. I think it looks pretty cool to be to be honest. It does in a way it does look like a vulture. And and, and Michael Keaton uh, and um you see uh, well. Uh, so you see Sp Sp uh, Peter, you know, you know, talking how he's like too busy with other things because he's palling bad guys. And I think you get a brief, two, a brief appearance by um, you see two other guys. Um, one you I I think is gonna be Shocker and um, the Tinkerer. Like the, I think the guy with the, the mustache, the Tinkerer, is holding this type of gun. He's blasting something. I think I think that is the Tinkerer. And the other guy is standing next to him right here. If you see the trailer, the other guy is standing right next to him right here. And that's good. That guy is going to be Shocker. And then you hear, and you see Michael Keaton non costume just for a split second where he seems like, don't mess with me. Because oh, I will kill you and everyone you ever loved. And just, <clears throat> you know, Michael Keaton talking like in a very uh, casual, subtle voice, which I buy because. Because how has how especially how he was in Pacific Heights and how he was in Desperate Measures, but Michael Keane to me he look he's gonna do a really good job as as the bad guy, as especially as the Vulture. I look forward to seeing that. And then you see him he has this guy type of gun. And he blasts like this um big ferry boat, and it looks like it's about to split in half. And the, for the just for the just for the title comes up um you see Spider Man he's has his weapons he's on both sides trying to hold them back um. He's trying his strongest to pull them together, preventing them from coming apart to save the people. Which you know, the kind of how the way that it looks kind of remind me of, like in Captain America: Civil War, just that during that scene where Steve Rogers, um, when Bucky was escaping to the helicopter, he's just trying to hold the helicopter in, and try to hold from one part to another, trying to pull the helicopter in. It almost kind of reminded me of that in a kind of a way, just how the way it's trying. just like Peter Parker, or Spider Man, he's just doing this whole whole thing two sides of something trying to pull them together and then after the title just a, a, a just another brief appearance with Spider-Man with uh, Tony in the Iron Man suit so, so, so Spider-Man Homecoming it looks like it's I, I, I enjoy the trailer and I am looking forward to seeing uh, Spider-Man Homecoming which is gonna come out on July 7th <laughs> And it just looks like, you know, Marvel's is it's gonna be another hit Marvel, like same with Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two. This is gonna be another huge hit for Marvel. See, this is see with these with how these with these Marvel trailers are, even if it's probably the same for the film, I just get this is why I get to see the I can see the fun in it in these in these Marvel movies. I don't feel that with the deep with the DC movies. I didn't with Man of Steel, I did not definitely did not feel that with Batman v Superman. Except, except I was just bored with it, and I didn't feel the same with with Suicide Squad. I didn't. 
Marvel to me is they have they have they have all they they plan this out and with DC is they just trying to stuff everything all at once because they're trying they're on this, they're in this big rush because Marvel is beating them by miles now they're all the plan trying to build all these other films up with all these solo movies and that already a Justice League which they already had Batman v Superman but now like a couple of years later they're gonna have already a Justice League like there's no time for it, but like. With Marvel, they had they slowly build up the the films with the other characters until they finally come together. DC is 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 is, for, is is forcing and rushing all these old put all these DC characters into one into this extended universe. I don't I don't I don't feel it's just it's just how I how I'm describing it. it's just basically it's like sucking the fun out of it from for me. Well, I was I already had the fun sucked out of it when I saw Batman v Superman, and then I did see it for Suicide Squad and. Same for Man of Steel, but I mean, no, nothing to all people who are against. No, no, nothing to people who like the DC movies. This is I'm not here. I'm not making fun of it. This, this is for my own preference because after I saw one of the first three extended universe films, I'm done with DC. I don't care to see Wonder Woman or the Justice League or the upcoming ones after that. Now, not Aquaman, Flash, or Cyborg or whatever. I don't care about those movies anymore. I I don't. Especially not Wonder Woman, which I did not care for at all when I saw that trailer. So yeah, but Spider-Man: Homecoming. See, this is it with Station of the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two, and this film, even even for the trailer for Doctor Strange, I it looks like it, it looks like it's fun and it's really it just it just looks good for our comic book movie. So yeah, but this is but again, this is all my this is all my opinion, my per, my own point of view. How I look at things, though, but I mean, not, I mean, it's not against people who like DC films. I have nothing. I have nothing against people. I respect. All, I respect people's opinions. They can like what you, you can like whatever you want, but just for my for my personal for my personal preference, I just I don't. I'm done. I'm just done with DC. See, let's see. The funny thing is, Man of Steel, then Batman v Superman, and then Suicide Squad. That's the third strikeout. I'm done with DC. You know, strike three, you're out. That's how I feel about the DC films now. That's the third strike, and I'm out for DC. Marvel is just made Marvel. I'm saying this because Marvel has just made better movies as, as recently. They've made better movies. But this is a bum. I'm done. I don't want to. Because I keep on keep if I keep on going continuing this, I'm just probably just gonna piss people off though. But like I said, I'm not out. I'm not out for anybody. I'm just stating my own opinion. People can like. I, I'm perfectly fine. With people who love the D, these new DC films, I'm perfectly fine with that. My, I even my, my brother, my bro, my own brother, he likes, he likes, he likes, he likes Suicide Squad. Well, though he didn't like Batman v Superman, though, but he does like Suicide Squad, though. But to me, I didn't. But anyway, yeah. But I'm just, I'm just getting off topic because I just had a point. I just. Because you already have, you're, cause you already have now two Marvel new Marvel trailers, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two and Spy Spiderman Homecoming, and they already look better than these new DC films, especially for this year. But that's just me though. But I I, I enjoy the trailer for Spiderman Homecoming. I'm looking forward to see it. Especially Tom Holland looks like he's gonna do it again, do a good job as Spider Man, Peter Parker, and uh, the other the, like the other young actors, um, especially the. Um, like he was talking to his, like his, his, the friend he was talking to, and you see a brief appearance of uh, Aunt May as well. Once again, Robert Downey Jr. You know he's gonna be good as Tony Stark. But uh, the biggest one for me is is to see how I'm looking forward to seeing how Michael Keaton will play as the Vulture. That's that's the biggest thing I'm looking forward to. It looks like he's gonna play a good bad guy, and he ha he he has done played he has played good bad guys before. So especially but this time he's gonna play a Marvel. Especially a classic Mar uh, Mar uh, Spider-Man villain, that's the Vulture, and being introduced to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. But anyway, that's my th that's my just giving my thoughts on the the first trailer for Best Spider-Man: Homecoming. Next, maybe and I'll probably do another one when the second one comes out, which is not gonna be for another few months. So, but I'll look forward to it though. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned on the next uh, movie review. Later.